four or five, maybe we might put six. Uh, let's see. Excellent. Hold that nice and neatly. The important thing when you're putting these uh, dishes in your china barrel is to make sure they're standing up vertically. If you lay them down, uh, they're very likely to break. Uh, I've seen this quite a few times, and I'll show, you, uh, I'll show you what exactly can happen when they're standing like that. Plates are strongest packed on their plates and everything else are strongest when they're packed on their, uh, on their sides just like this. When they're laying down, there's much more surface area to hit and break. Uh, if you don't believe me, just check this out. Once again, don't try this at home. <coughs> And now here's what can happen when you drop the plate uh, flat. All the surface area. Sorry, buddy, it's been nice knowing you. Well, I certainly hope this wasn't a family heirloom. So back uh, to the rest of the boxes. <clears throat> We're going to continue with the middle layer. We have a, a vase here that's a little, it's not as heavy as some of the things we put on the bottom, but it's fairly substantial. Uh, so we're going to use several pieces of paper on this. You're not, again, you're not wasting paper. Uh, we'll put some right inside there. You're saving a vase. So tuck the center in there and let's say one, roll about halfway, and two on the corner, tuck that in. And we will get that right in there. It's strongest on its, you know, on its, uh, on its upper lip there. Same reason we pack the plates like that. It's, that's the strongest. And this is pretty similar. Another layer of bumpers, uh, just the two pieces of paper on this level. We're going to put some mugs and teacups on the top, some shorter, lighter items. And again, important to stand these all vertically. Same with drinking glasses. Going to roll those right in one sheet. All right, same with teacups. Uh, these. Depending on how narrow they are, these might be well served to place vertically and stick them right next to each other, kind of sandwich them in there. Uh, now we've come upon uh, an obvious family heirloom, Bambi. It's a, rather an odd shape. So in order to protect these, you're going to want to build it up so that uh, we've got it in kind of a cylindrical shape here. So how are we going to do that? We're going to rip some paper, whoop, without ripping Bambi. and We've got a little hollow in there, so we're going to stuff that in there so that now we've got something that we can build off of. We want to protect those fragile ears. Bambi would be nothing without the ears. So uh, now that that's about the same level there, we'll start to wrap that up. We're going to use several pieces of paper on the corner, uh, like so. And I can still feel that in there. It's still pretty fragile, so we are going to use more paper. Pull that up. All right, now that is pretty well protected. We'll tuck that right into our box here. Uh -huh. All right, we have a full china pack. The last thing we're going to do is bumper the top, and we are completely sealed up. Uh, the last thing that we have here. We haven't packed any of our stemware. Now, that's because I like to put, pack stemware in a separate box, a 3.1 box, kind of a mid-sized box here. And I've already bumpered this. We're just going to put one layer of stemware across the entire bottom, and then we're going to bumper the top. Now, stemware is extremely fragile. Uh, what you're going to want to do with that, start from the top there, 
we're going to fill the glass with a little bit of paper on the top. Just kind of wrap that up there and protect. This is going to protect the stem and the inside of the glass. So I'm going to put it on its side and roll it up. Fold the ends in. It's going to be stood vertically upside down on its bulb into your box. And you are going to fill the box completely, layer all the way through with the stemware. If you don't have enough to fill the box, just a few more bumpers on the side should cover that. Bumper the top, close it up, tape it, uh, label the, the top and the corners, and there's your stemware done. Now, I hope these tips have been helpful. If you follow them as I've done them, you should have no problem packing your fragile china and stemware.